good morning. Beautiful morning today. It's quite early. I just got up and I felt the sense of productivity, you know, I felt felt the vibes to get a video done. I actually want to get something off my chest here in this video that I thought about a long time and I recently realized that this is basically what I base a lot of my actions onto, you know. Um, I'm now 20 hours into my <laughs> into my dry fast already again, I think over 20 hours actually. And of course, as usual, when I when I uh, announced that I'm gonna do this, I got a lot of comments like, hey man, why are you doing this crazy stuff? I don't think that's healthy and stuff like that. Um, and I do very well understand that. I do very well understand that. So I wanna, I have some notes here, of course, as usual, because I wanna get this one right. I would like to get something off my chest in this video that I think is very important. Also, when it comes to interpreting the videos, the upcoming videos that gonna that are gonna be on this channel. So, title of this video: Truth versus Mindset in the Context of Self Development. Now, in my opinion. A wise person always strives to cultivate that kind of mindset in regards to a certain topic which is going to allow him or her to become the best version of him or herself in the long run, okay? In the long run, on a, on a sustainable basis. Now this kind of mindset does not necessarily mean the truth. This is something that I realized also um, actually a long time ago. You know, recently I talked about religion in, in, my, uh, in, my, <laughs> in my recent Q&A here because I got asked about it in the comments. And uh, religion is actually a perfect example for this because usually in some kind of, you know, it's very often that in some in religions basically that you have some kind of deity which is uh, making some kind of laws you know and you as a human should behave according to these laws now is it the truth that there is someone up there who enforces these laws and if you don't obey them something bad is going to happen to you and if you obey them something good is going to happen to you Probably not, okay? So, the question arises here, why did religions uh, exist in the first place or do, do still exist? Now, of course, religions are a tool of self-development, as I already said in my previous video. So, religions do not necessarily um, employ the truth, okay, for their purpose. But what they are doing is they kind of are cultivating a kind of mindset in the people that are following these religions, which is going to, um, in the best case, allow them to become the best version of themselves in the long run on a sustainable basis in balance with themselves and their environment. When we are talking about original, you know, geographical entity religions, not about the crazy stuff that's happening today. And I've talked about this before. Now, so here we have a, an example where, of where um, the truth does not necessarily mean self-development. Rather, it is the, the kind of mindset okay, that the people have which is going to influence their actions and their actions are going to influence how they are going to you know, develop themselves and become a better person in the long run. Uh, another more, let's say, a, a more practical example would be calories in, calories out. <laughs> I just recently got, a, got a, another comment. Many, um, I don't understand my body, I'm eating a caloric deficit, I'm not losing weight, blah, 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 blah. Um, if you want to be in control of your body, okay, so you want to say, you want to have the ability, okay, in one week I want to be three kilos heavier. Okay, in three days I want to be three kilos lighter. Calories in, calories out is not the mindset that is going to help you to gain this power, okay? Um, rather it is fasting and then the, <laughs> the, the, the perfect kind of nutrition, okay? But despite that, calories in calories out is the truth okay but it's some it is a useless truth because the truth is also you cannot really know how many calories you ever consume you cannot know your basal metabolic rate 
uh, you don't know how many calories actually are leaving your body again you know because this is something that we are we have to talk about still digestive efficiency okay you don't take up all the calories you eat and your body metabolizes the calories you eat in a different way depending on where these calories come from in terms of macronutrients and stuff it's extremely complex calories in calories out is not going it is the truth okay if you need or if you burn more calories than you get into your body you're going to lose weight that is the scientific truth but this truth is not going to help you to become a better person in the long run okay because it's essentially useless when it comes to these questions health weight loss and performance and all that stuff so calories in calories out here another example finally I want to give you an example where truth can even be detrimental to your self-development and this is when we have to when we are talking about environmentalism now it is definitely the truth that the fact that you are throwing away your cigarette butt here in this beautiful forest here okay this is a very it's a common sense based environment for this common sense based talk hopefully that's why I chose it so if I'm going to start throwing away my cigarette butts here <laughs> in in this forest the truth is in the grand picture of things it's not gonna matter a lot okay it's not gonna matter a lot whether I'm throwing these cigarette butts away now um, or if I don't do it okay because I, while I'm talking here three airplanes are you know crossing my path 10,000 no 10,000 meters in the air or something and they are producing tons of CO2 tons of toxic chemicals tons of toxic compounds in the air in every single second that I'm talking here to you right now okay so it doesn't matter it simply doesn't matter if I'm going to throw my cigarette butts away here uh, whereas on other places of the world millions of tons of garbage are thrown into the sea you know every day so it doesn't matter that's the, the sad truth it doesn't matter however is this the mindset that is going to make me the best person that I can be in the long run probably not the best mindset is going to be to walk on your toe tips okay despite despite all the shit that's going around around you you should strive to be the warrior okay who tr who walks on his toe tip who has a very small footprint because this is also something that is going to em empower you in the long run because in the long run it's going to enable you to live with less to um yeah as i said to it's going to allow you to live in a harsher environment okay and all these things are actually good things you know reduce your comfort not grabbing this comfort to you know throw just my cigarette butt away here in this forest because that's essentially comfort okay you're too comfortable to put it in your pocket go home and put it in your trash can this is less comfortable okay more self-development less comfort so here the truth the simple truth that it doesn't matter in the small in the small scheme okay is going to be actually quite detrimental to your um, self-development now this is also why science and scientific results do not necessarily lead to self-development okay because science only looks for um, statistically detectable truth okay now I've talked about science in the context of nutrition and health and stuff like that previously and why I don't think that science is a good um, tool for self-development in, in this area and that's again uh, science only tries to detect um, statistically provable truth now when we when we use science for example in a, in a subject of nutrition uh, it doesn't really help us a lot with self-development because you this is very easily observable when you just take a look at science and how 
uh, how different studies contradict each other completely in the in the area of uh, nutrition okay so uh, something's fishy around here okay it, I mean I don't think that these scientists made mathematical mistakes in their studies yeah the reason why they still contradict each other so heavily in the field of nutrition at least is because the field of nutrition is extremely complex and also the subject on which this is applied to namely the human body and animal and any animal body for that matter and also any plant body okay biological organisms in general are extremely complex they 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 were created over the course of millions of years uh, <laughs> through throughout countless events you know countless input from the environment you know volcanic eruptions and you know, ice ice ages and warm periods and what not okay the biological organisms are extremely complex and to to attempt to break it down in a useful manner with science is of course and is is interesting to play around with that but the question arises how useful is that really for some someone who wants to thrive on self development actually yeah so um as I said, I think it is not it is not a good tool. What you should rather do is what ask yourself what are the tools that are ancient, you know, that are age old, proven by generations when it comes to health, for example, um, that have empowered people to take control of their own health, you know, by themselves not by some means of some doctors or stuff take control of their own health and that since generations okay since thousands of years and this is where the cycle closes where we come back to fasting actually because fasting is one of these tools fasting is an age an age old tool that people have used for thousands of years to um, cure disease, cure all kinds of, of illnesses, okay? And in fact, they are still using it today. And when you're looking into the animal kingdom, for example, and we are animals as well, what what is going... Animals who are sick, they fast, okay? They lie down and wait. They don't disrupt their body. They, they just let things balance themselves out by themselves, okay? Fasting is such a powerful tool when it comes to that. Now... A lot of scientists are gonna say, mm, that's that's dangerous, you, you're gonna get metabolic damage, you... This is the perspective of science. As I said, when it comes to nutrition, I don't really trust in that anymore, okay? It can be sometimes the, the, the basis which you can use to reflect upon what could be the mindset which is going to allow me to become, to become the best version of, of myself in the long run because we have now access to all this truth, you know, that is produced by science. Now, back in the day, people did not know about bacteria, viruses and cancer cells and all that stuff. All they knew is when they fast, they will be better, okay? They will be better in the long run. They're gonna heal. And this goes not, of course, that's not only going for fasting, okay? It's, it goes for a number of, of things. For example, fermented foods, okay? Fermented foods. So the use of bacteria to ferment foods is an age-old tradition. It's an, an ancient method of, of making foods more digestible, making them healthier, essentially. Now, did these people know that there are, you know, in this culture, that there are bacteria in there and they metabolize all these bad compounds so it becomes more digestible? Of course not. For them, this was some kind of ghost, you know, a good ghost is inherent into this substance and if you add it to the food then it's gonna, and then it's gonna bless it and it's becoming better. Is this the truth? No, it's not the truth, okay? But it is the mindset that still allows them to become the best version of themselves. So that's what I wanted to say in this video, guys. I hope um, you at least got something from it. As always, um, let me know down below if you did. I'm always glad to hear your inputs. And I really like this environment here, actually. I think I'm gonna do more videos in this setting. 
Uh, the fast is going great, I'm still feeling great, um, I'm still miles away from ketosis I think, my brain is still functioning somewhat well, <laughs> I guess. So anyway, I hope you are having a great time as well, have a good training, keep crushing, and I'll see you soon in the next one, bye!